Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Lama Carter Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news updates and information with a uh, nice little video here. It goes over, we're calling a complete guide on the 2023 Ford Bronco Sport the base trim so we're going to focus our attention just on the base trim in this video and we're going to cover all the standard equipment as well as different options you can get and everything in this video that's available for the 23 model year so if you're not new and not subscribed to the youtube channel hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe over to the channel hit the notification bell so that way you can stay notified the next time we have another video uploaded to youtube channel so we're going to dive in we're going to cover all these uh, features that are of course standard first and the other packages and everything it's a very detailed video and because of that it's going to be a very long video so use the timestamps that are listed down below in the description as well as if you're watching this on the phone there'll be the different chapters down below that way you can move around this video all you want to and hopefully give you a nice resource for you especially if you're somebody out there that's thinking about maybe they want to order or they want to get a, a new bronco sport right now the easiest way to get one is to specially custom order with your local dealership so uh, this visual video will help you with that and give you that information of what is included in the base and know whether or not this is a good trim for you or maybe you want a little more equipment and you might want to go up to the big bend so we'll be going through all of the bronco sport uh, videos the base big band outer banks as well as the badlands going through all these features so hopefully this video does help you out and if you're looking and struggling to find a dealership Lama Cards are going to help you out, and we do have a free shipping policy for people that watch our videos. So we'll have more information about the free shipping at the end of the video. So uh, stay tuned for that, uh, or check out the timestamp for that one as well. But let's go ahead and dive in. Let's first talk about some mechanical features that are standard on all of your Bronco Sports. Now we're going to talk about, start talking about some mechanical features, and before we do, we will use some of the building prices available from last year's model. Of course, um, by the time of recording this video, the 2023 building price is not available on Ford's website yet. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and reference the 22 because there's a lot of things that are pretty similar between 22 and 23. In fact, I kind of showed, a, a, I have a video of, of those few things that were different. This isn't a new refresh or redesign or anything like that. So. Uh, there's not a lot of difference between last year and this year so we'll use last year's website and build and price so to do that i'll go over here so you can see my screen you will go to ford's website so go to ford.com and from there you can easily go over to you're going to look for suvs and crossovers and we're talking about the bronco sport here and then we're going to hit the build and price now i'm not going to talk about pricing because pricing uh, may not be updated of course this is probably isn't updated for 23 prices um, but when they get the build pri build and price up they can do that plus your dealer can go over that pricing when you go to do that but it ought to be pretty close to these prices so we're going to just click the start your build here for the base trim and then we're going to go through so there are uh, i think some more colors that are available uh for this year and we'll go over those than uh the last year uh so i got my notes here here but well, the biggest thing i want to talk about first is some of those mechanical features we'll talk about those first and then we'll dive into the exterior the colors and all that in just a little bit but to do this we're going to go over here we're going to go down the powertrain so you can kind of see some of that so right here uh, we do have of course all of the bronco sports are come standard and the four by four uh drivetrain so that's what you're it's going to come with you can see that's down here is included uh, the, uh, all the bases will come standard. The only engine available is that 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine with auto start stop technology. And auto start stop means that when you put a stoplight stop sign, shut the vehicle off, it'll uh, press the brake, it'll shut the vehicle off. When you let go of the brake, it's going to turn the vehicle back on. So that is a, a feature. There is, will be a button in, in there on the dash somewhere. I can't remember where it's located on the Bronco uh, Sport, but you can deactivate that on each engine cycle if you, that's something you don't want to happen. Also, 8-speed automatic transmission will be standard equipment as well with these. So geared together, it's going to give you a great ride and good uh, flexibility there. You will get a train management system. See if it has any of this stuff down there. Nope, does not show that. So you will get uh, standard equipment will be the terrain management system. Uh, so that system there, it, it's going to give you five GOAT modes for the base trim. You're going to have a normal, an eco, a sport, slippery, and a sand mode. Uh, so those are your uh, different modes. You will have a standard duty suspension on this. You can kind of kind of see that a little bit there, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Front and rear stabilizer bar as well on the vehicle. Uh, electric parking brake that will include an auto hold, which means it'll hold the brake if you had a stop light or something like that. Let off the brake. It's going to hold your brake for you. You do have electronic brake assist uh, as well. Electronic traction control too. And you will have electric park power assist steering. That e-pass uh, will really helps out, uh, you know, when you're going slower speeds, easier to turn the steering wheel, park in those parking spaces. But when you get up on the highway, it's going to stiffen it up so it's not so easy for that steering wheel to move. So that way you don't, that wind doesn't push you from side to side. 
You will also get kill start assist, uh, the standard equipment on your Bronco Sports. Now let's talk about some safety features here for a second. Uh, we do have the uh, course standard on these are going to be advanced track with roll stability control. So a goal of that is to use a series of brakes around the vehicle on the different wheels to keep you on your intended path. So if you go in that curve a little too fast or maybe it's slick outside, it'll help by keeping you on your intended path and hopefully not have a rollover situation with that roll stability control. Also, if you do get an accident, it does have SOS post crash alert system that honks the horns, flashes the lights if you're in an accident. People know you need to come to your safety. Also, if you do uh, Bluetooth your phone into the system, it'll have 911 assist as well. Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So what that's going to do for you is if you're uh, driving along and you're not paying attention and there's a car in front of you going much slower than you and you're gonna, going to hit them, it alerts you and lets you know that by a series of tones, a message on the dash that you need to stop. Preloads the brakes as well with the brake support. Uh, so that when you hit the brake, you're going to stop a little bit quicker um, preloading those brakes for you. Also, if you aren't in an accident, it does have post-collision braking too. So, you know, if you don't put it in park, it'll help brake the vehicle so you don't go wandering off into a more severe accident uh, in that kind of situation. Or if you're unconscious, heaven forbid. Also, you do get lane keeping system with this. So lane keeping system uses this, uh, three, uh, three different systems in there that help you keep you in the center of your lane. One of them is in a driver alert feature. So that's just allowing you to let you know when you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often, the system will let you know. Also, you do have lane keeping aid system and alert system. And the way the alert system works is it'll let you leave your lane, but it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. The aid system will, will try to keep you in your lane. So if you get over to that line, it's going to bring you back in and try to keep you within those lines. Um, that's why you want to make sure if you are switch changing lanes, if you have the aid system on, you want to make sure you use your turn signals. Also, this one will do, does have perimeter alarm with intrusion and inclination sensors. So that means that if you, you know, get out of the vehicle, you lock it, there's no one uh, inside when you lock the vehicle and you walk away, it's going to use the uh, sensors inside to tell if somebody intrudes into it. So if they break the glass, they get inside, try to open the doors, those hon hon the horns will honk and go off and everything else like that. Also, inclination sensors. So if someone tries to take your wheels, they raise that the jack up the front of the back, it's going to know that as well. Uh, and then you do have secure lock, passive, and a theft system. And what this means is when you shut the vehicle off, that key is coded to the vehicle. So when you shut the vehicle off, uh, then it cannot be started except with that key. So it locks that the uh, your key lock there. So that's pretty cool and how that all works. Now let's go ahead and um, now we're done with kind of some of the mechanical and safety features. Let's talk about the exterior styling now. So let's start with talking about the exterior styling here. And the first thing I want to talk about is the different colors. So those, all the colors that were available last year are available uh, on the base trim. But you also have one additional color for this year. And that is the Hot Pepper Red is now available for this year. I believe that's a color. In fact, let's look here. That was available last year in uh, the Big Ben. Uh, there you go. It was available last year. So that color will be available now in the base trim. Uh, last year you had to go up to the Big Ben to get that color. This year it'll be included in your base trim colors. So that's pretty nice to, to see that one added uh, for this year. Um, now moving around, uh, talking about the front, we'll use these images here to kind of show us the styling around the vehicle and then get a little bit closer here and we can actually open this up, make it a little bit bigger as we talk about the standard features. There we go. So talking about the uh, front of the vehicle, Dylan, this will have on the windshield acoustic laminated windshield which means it has it's uh, two pieces of glass with plastic in between and that just makes it a little bit quieter so that that wind hits that windshield it's going to make it a little bit quieter in there so you won't have so much wind noise and then on the grill you will have a carbon black grill with the black lettering so as you can see there so it's carbon black grill black lettering uh molded in there so that or the molded in black on the grill itself and then nice high gloss black finish on the letters itself there your front bumper also same way it's a molded in black so that means they take the color they put it in the mold so when they make it it's a more durable material and it's not painted onto the bumper so these front bumpers will be that molded in black color there also active grill shutters so you can't see it through here but there's shutters that will open close and that's going to help for airflow inside helping keeping that cool uh, cool down in there as much as possible uh, and so on the highway it's going to shut it up uh, so a little, little more aerodynamics that way since you'll have plenty of air coming from up underneath the vehicle. Uh, you will have con configurable daytime running lights. So which means you can configure those to be on during the daytime. 
Uh, so that way it really helps out, especially so people can see you. And then you will have LED headlights. So uh, LED feature on those headlights and there'll be automatic features. So it means it'll come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light as well with those headlights. And you will have auto high beams too, which is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings. Uh, auto high beams are going to come on, on, on when it gets really dark outside. If there's someone approaching you or you're in the city of lights, it's going to shut those uh, those high beams off. So those are all your uh, front features that I want to talk about. Now let's move this around, close this here, and let's uh, move around to the side over here. Get a good side shot. There we go. And so moving around to the side of the vehicle, uh, you will see the standard wheel is a 17-inch sparkle silver uh, wheel there. So that's uh, that should be the design, I believe it is, for 23 as well. And then you will have all-season tires on the vehicle too. So, um, And then you will have tire pressure monitoring system on all four of those tires. So it monitors the tire pressure. So if one of them gets low, let you know that. Um, and especially if you have a tire, some flat tire, the only the service departments will need to reset that. You will get four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. Uh, so it's going to help you brake a little bit quicker. And the ABS as well, analog braking system, if you need to really stop and stomp on those, it's going to help you with that too. Now check out the wheel dip molding here. So you do have the stain molded in black that you have on the bumpers on your wheel dip moldings. Again, that's where you get a lot of the rock tips and such to protect those. The side rocker as well is going to have that same material down here to protect this, the lower rocker molding from that. And then going around with the rear one as well. You're going to kind of see that same material on the mirror caps as well as on your door handles and also on your side uh, uh, refrax rails as well. They're going to all be that same material for you. Again, more durable. It can handle rock chips and, and different things like that uh, with that same type of material there. Uh, your mirrors. They will be a power glass mirror. Manual fold means that you can just pop that mirror in if you need to. You will get a manual glass uh, or a power glass though so you can adjust those electronically inside. Um, and then you will have the bliss. That's that blind spot information system with cross track alert. So the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go into that lane at that time. Uh, and then also as you're backing up, it uses cross traffic alert. So someone's going to come behind you um, across traffic, then it's going to alert you and let you know it. But a, a little sensor in that mirror uh, the, from the side they're coming from puts a message on the dash as well and a series of tones that it's not safe for you to back up so love how that all works together i love bliss system um, glad that it is standard equipment on all of your bronco sports by the way um, and then you do have your remote keyless entry with the flip key key fobs so uh, unlock lock panic button are going to be on that uh, but it allows you to be able to unlock and lock it from a distance and then you have a flip key to start the vehicle as well there and then uh, the upper molding. So up here is going to be black upper molding. So a top on a top of the doors where those mirrors will run into, and then black uh, top around the windows as well uh, for the vehicle too. Uh, the roof rack um, where I already mentioned is the those black rails, and the roof itself is going to be body colored. So the reason we mentioned that is because you can see right here you have a high gloss finish on all these pillars gives it kind of a floating roof line design there and look to it and a lot of people like that feature there easy fuel cap is filler door so you just pop push that door right there open no cap to to worry about uh, leaving behind getting your hands dirty anything like that it's a double door system in there so you put that nozzle in there fill it up when you're done you just shut the outer door and you're good to go now that because of that double door system the inner door is the exact size of the, the nozzle you get from your fuel pumps at the gas stations so if you need to fill it up any of your uh, gas cans will not fit correctly so there is a funnel that's provided for the vehicle and then these rear doors back here do have child safety locks so you can lock those off so that way kids can't open those if you maybe you're stopped and you're not ready to get out yet they're not able to open those doors it's going to lock those rear doors back there for you now moving to the back let's go ahead and turn this around there you go see if i got it there's a better view of the back so here on the back you can see up here high you have a center high mounted stoplight up here uh, on the vehicle you do have a rear wiper as well and this glass does flip separate from the lift gate itself so if you put those last items in there it makes it real nice and easy to do that you have led tail lights back here too so led headlights and led tail lights on the vehicle you're going to have rear view camera as well it's going to come out of there right there where you can put that so on one side is where you would actually release for the lift gate and the other is for the glass so it's i can't remember which side's which um, and then you do have the manual lift gate as well that opens up so all the bronco sports no matter what trim you have will have a manual lift gate with a flip open glass on the door now um the back bumpers back here are that same molded in black as you've been seeing on the rear 
back here with reflectors. And that way, if you have that open, your vehicle's not running, you have those reflectors to help protect so people see you on the side of the road and stuff like that. Stuff like that. Now, I don't have any views of this, uh, but hopefully maybe have some extra B-roll clips that I can show you. Uh, we'll just see what we have in our database to show you this. But you inside, you do have these floodlights. So when you open up that lift gate right up above that, you're going to have these two lights you can adjust. And you can turn on by pressing the, the switch on the side of the uh, cargo area. Uh, so you get a bottle opener on the passenger side in the door jam there. There is a bottle opener located in there in the hatch area. So you can, if you're out tailgating, having some fun, something like that campsite you can just open those beer bottles or coke bottles whatever type of ones they are you can open those pretty easily with that uh you do in the in the carpeted flooring in the cargo area you're going to have the carpeted uh, in that cargo floor and in the back too uh, this is usually where i talk about the latch system that's that lower anchors and tethers for children so on the back of those seat backs uh, which are carpeted on the base model uh, you're going to have these little bars in there that's where you would latch the front facing car seats in there and then inside the car seat where the cushions and the seat backs come together you're going to have a latch system to be able to anchor in either front or rear facing car seats in there so i like the latch system works really well for our car seats for our grandkids now inside underneath the floor there is going to be a mini spare and tire in there so it's going to be a mini not a full-size spare uh there is uh, we'll talk about optional equipment a little bit where you can get a full-size spare and how you can get that uh, also in the rear cargo area, you're going to have a rear cargo area light and you're going to have a 12 volt, uh, 12 volt power point in there. So you can plug in, you know, those, some of those older, um, car chargers and such, and some other things that will plug in that way in charge. You'll have that in the back and then you will have some cargo tie down carabiner hooks and loops in the vehicle. So that way you can put different supplies and everything. If you're rock climbing or whatever, you can attach those in the back too. So. Uh, some tie downs for you in the rear car area so now let's go ahead and, and close this and we're going to go and talk about some of the interior features now talking about the interior of the vehicle first you can see there the only color interior you can get is the ebony interior so you're gonna what you're seeing here is uh should be pretty similar to what it's gonna look like for 23 as well no real uh, major changes there than what's available from 22. Uh, so we'll use some of these images as well as we'll get into a 360 view uh, for most of these shots here now for the airbags uh let's move this over to the side here so you're going to have a uh, driver and front passenger dual stage airbag so the drivers can deploy from the steering wheel and the drivers uh, i believe is in right up here anyway it'll deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle there's sensors underneath those seats and what they call the personal safety system to tell that as well as you know your seat safety belts which are you know shoulder harnesses three-point safety belts uh, with pre-tensioners and all that that's all part of that personal safety system you do get driver knee airbag it'll deploy down protect it from that steering column from any front collision and then on the side i can't see it here but you know, there is front seat mounted side impact airbags uh, kind of hard to say there <laughs> so you have that here on the side so if you have a side collision hits that that b pillar it's going to pull those airbags to protect the front seat uh, the front drivers uh, from that side collision which depends on what side they're coming from and then you also have safety canopy airbags that's to deploy an airbag from this from the top roof to protect with the rollover sensor so if you roll a vehicle over it's going to deploy that down protect from breaking glass coming in for either the front or the rear uh, uh, windows of course um, and then carpeted flooring can't really see it in here but you will have carpeted flooring for the front and the rear uh, that's standard equipment even on the base trim there and your car mats will be a uh, front carpeted mats you will not have rear mats standard equipment you will have front mats with the bronco sport wording in those floor mats now let's talk about the seats you have cloth bucket seats up here and cloth buck well, cloth seats in the back as well but up there in the front there will be bucket with a console with a flow through console as you see in here uh, six-way manual driver seat means forward and back up and down and manual recline uh, four-way manual passenger seat forward and back and manual recline uh, does not have a height adjustment on the passenger seat in the rear is going to be a second row 60 40 split bench seat which means i don't know if you can see that but there's right about there there is a, it's a crease where you can fold the six percent side on one side and 40 percent on the other to fold those down to put extra cargo in there if you need to and that kind of thing now not seeing it here uh, but on the back of the console you will have uh, two usb ports a usb type a and type c port to plug in those uh, smartphones and keep them charged and now is where we're going to go to a 360 view here a little bit so you can kind of see an overhead view of this so for the windows you will have power windows uh, the front 
driver's door will have a power up and down, which means you just hard press it down, that window's gonna go down for the driver's window. And then hard press it up and they'll come up. Power windows for all of them, but the driver's window will get the, uh, the one touch is what they call that for up and down. Uh, or Oh, it's actually just down feature, not up and down. So the driver's down feature, sorry. Uh, you will have power locks as well. You can see the controls right up there on the door. And then on the steering column, manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, lever underneath, just pull that lever, that steering wheel up and down, forward and back so you can get it just right. And then, I don't know if you can see this display through here, but it has a 4.2 inch instrument panel uh, in there. That's what they call that. Well, you'll have your tachometer, speedometer there as well. You'll see your odometer down there. But in there is where you can have your outside temperature, uh, features and everything with that 4.2 inch productivity screen. You will have cruise control, standard equipment. Can't remember which side it's on. I think maybe the right side. But you'll have um, a cruise control there as well as you'll have redundant audio controls there too. And your Microsoft sync buttons to be able to make and receive phone calls and take your volume up and down as well. Uh, for your climate control, it does have a single zone manual climate control. So everybody in the vehicle will have the same temperature there for you. Uh, stereo will be an AM FM, kind of control that right here. AM FM stereo with six speakers. Also, you're going to get Sirius, or you're going to get Sync 3 system, sorry, not Sirius, <laughs> Sync 3 with the 8-inch touchscreen here. It will have the en enhanced voice recognition system. Um, we will have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, that connectivity by using the USB ports, by using these smart USB ports down here in the Media Hub area, the USB Type A and Type C there, with, and there's also a PowerPoint in there, and room to put that, uh, tuck that cell phone in there when you plug it in if you want to use the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Um, also, for the looking up a little bit, you do this mirror is a day night mirror. What that means is that if you want to flip it from daytime to nighttime, it's just a lever that you just flip back and forth and it manually adjusts that way. Uh, overhead console as well, you can see your lights, interior light switches, as well as you do have a sunglass bin to be able to tuck those sunglasses in, which is kind of nice. I use mine all the time. And then, of course, you do have your visors here for the driver and front passenger if their sun's coming in to kind of block some of the sun. It actually can pull out of there and rotate to the side windows as well to kind of protect sun coming in from the side as well. And kind of already talked about the uh, media hub area, having those uh, ports in there. Rotary dial shifter right here, as well as your, uh, I believe your auto hold button is right in here as well uh, in your electric parking brake. That's what these switches are right there. Now in you, you're not seeing the train management control down there. Maybe if we go to the side image, you can see that a little bit right there. So the train management control right there, that goes goat modes are controlled with that dial right there in front of the console. Now padded armrest uh, that also has a console. So inside you uh, pull that up. I believe there's some USB ports in there as well. And then don't forget, last thing I want to talk about is the Ford Pass Connect. That's an embedded modem in the vehicle. So it allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app free app to download uh, you connect your vehicle that way and once you connect it your salesperson can help you with that then you're able to make and receive phone call or not make and receive phone calls that's and that's the sync system sorry uh, you're able to lock and unlock your vehicle using the app you can remote start your vehicle and even schedule remote start times find the tire pressure fuel economy or fuel gauge uh, in the vehicle all the history of the vehicle too right within the app pretty cool app to download and that's a free app no matter how long you have your vehicle you do not have to pay a subscription for that like maybe some other automotive companies do so uh, that's all of our standard equipment now let's talk about some different optional equipments for you on the base trim now we're going to talk about some of the uh, optional equipment so there's not really any optional packages on the base trim but there are some optional features or we call those standalone options and ford has theirs broken down into three different sections of these optional interior they're all in under the extra interior options uh, but they are listed out as either free standing packages and options, which are things you'd want to get at the factory if you're wanting to get those. And then there's accessories, which are things that you can get from them or can always be purchased afterwards. And then there's dealer installed options, which means those would be ordered on your vehicle. They would not be put on your vehicle at the factory, but they would be shipped to the dealer. And when the vehicle gets to your dealer, the dealer would install those dealer installed options. So we're going to actually we're going to go through this, uh, break it down to exterior and then interior features. And we'll kind of break it down which of those are which in there. OK, so just so you know. So going through this, the first one up here is your splash guards. So splash guards is something that is listed under the Ford accessories section on the order guide. 
and that is something that actually would be shipped with your vehicle um and when it's but then the dealer would install those flash guards on your vehicle when it comes in so that is something and that is actually something on some models that has actually been a constraint item so i would probably if you're wanting splash guards let your dealer install them uh, they're pretty cheap uh they're 220 there and it's not that difficult to install these in fact a lot of people install them themselves on the vehicle uh and then the fender flare kits now these are things that are listed under the um under the dealer installed option so i would recommend if you're wanting either one of these that you do get those on your order i haven't heard that being a constraint item um, but you can see there's two different fender flare kits there's a fender flare kit one which basically is you can see it has the bolt-on style there um, and those are molded in material so they're going to come just like that and the dealer would install those 500 dollars is what it's showing here i don't know what it is for this year um, but you can see what it's not available with. So this is not available with any of your mud flaps or splash guards. So keep that in mind. And of course, it's not available with the other flare kit, of course. So looking at the flare kit number two, the difference between that one is actually showing the same image, but Ford needs to really correct this. This has been on this for like a year. But this one here is different because it actually is uh, pre-assembled and paintable. So that means that those can be painted to match the body colored, right? So flare kit two is more for a body colored fender flare and again not available with your mud flaps or splash guards or the other flare kit for obvious reasons there next one down there is a lift gate uh, privacy curtain which is pretty cool if you're wanting to do a lot of camping you can have this curtain you can change and such like that especially if you're going camping tenting uh in, in a tent something like that uh it makes it easier for you to be able to change your clothes and all that kind of stuff so you can this is pretty cool and so this is available of course as optional equipment um i can't remember where that's that's listed under the uh, dealer installed options but it's actually you would install it when you need it really so they'll just put it in the vehicle for you um when it, it shows up there interblock heater is something you'd want to get from the factory though interblock heater uh does uh actually shows an image of that one so you can see that so in cold weather states and that kind of thing if you want to be able to keep your vehicle warmed up uh, you can plug it into your house and that keeps it warmed up so it's a lot easier to start the next morning on those very cold winter days and then you have these mud flap kits now um see if it shows the images so there you go so there's some different mud mud flap kits these are more of the flexible uh, mud flaps here and you do have three options front rear or front and rear of course none of them are compatible with each other and again they're not compatible with your fender flare kits uh, but this is also something you can get from the dealer they're listing the mud flaps as a um, under the dealer installed option so if you order it from the factory the dealer will be putting these on when it comes in Again, something you can order later from through Ford Accessories and have them put on either yourself or by your dealer. So those are all the exterior options uh, for you. Moving down to the interior options, going down, you do have a cargo mat. So kind of open this up. So that's that mat right there. Now, the the we met, mentioned we talked about the seat backs as well as the carpet as the floor is carpeted. So getting this will really protect the interior from, you know, different things like like they're showing in this picture you know things that might get you into your cargo dirty you can just pull that mat out and you can clean it so real easy uh and that the cargo mat is listed um i think as an accessory it is listed as a ford accessory so when you order it it'll come with your vehicle when it's shipped from the from the factory now these ex uh assistance kits you have an on-road and an off-road again those are accessories i would not order those on your with your vehicles uh, if so, they'll come with your vehicle from the factory, I believe. Uh, the assistance kits are, no, those are dealer installed, so they'll come to the dealership. Then the dealer would, basically, the dealer's not installing anything. They're just taking all that stuff, putting it in the bag for you, and put it in your vehicle. So, again, something you can get through Ford Accessories and get it afterwards and even have it mailed to your house. Off-road kit includes a few other different things like a shovel and uh, uh, airbag. So, if you're going off-road, uh, you have the, the fire extinguisher there and everything. So again, those are two things that I've, I would recommend you do not get it when you order your vehicle, but go ahead and get it afterwards. First aid kit is the same way as the dealer installed option, uh, right? Yeah, first aid kit, it, which means it'll be shipped to the dealership and the dealership will put it in your vehicle when it gets there. So again, take care of that afterwards. I've had I've actually seen stories where some dealers did not actually put those in there, didn't know that they were back in parts and they need to be put on the vehicle because they didn't look at the window sticker close enough. So again, that, that's something that any something like that, you can just put that in your vehicle later. Interior bike rack. Now this one's pretty cool. And this uh, interior bike rack um, is uh oops, I clicked on the wrong thing. 
into your bike rack there uh, allows you to be able to to put your bikes in there and the wheels uh, velcro on and everything so that's a pretty cool little feature and the into your bike rack is actually a dealer installed option so the dealer would install that in your vehicle when it comes in and that is something you actually fold the seats down that you can put the put those in later if you'd like to yeah it does have because you can install those you can see the little spots right there where it, the, that the frame hooks onto to leave it in there so it won't move around on you so that's a pretty cool little bike rack especially if you have bikes floor liners front and rear uh, you have one with mats and one without mats there so you do have that nice all-weather mats and again those will actually come from the factory with those installed i think it's listed under accessories yes it is so they would be pre-installed they say but they actually come in a bag and the dealer would install them when they get there uh, cargo management system this is a pretty cool i actually did a video um uh, on this one on how this works so you do have this little shelf system here that you can it slides forward and back so you can lock it in and it creates either a shelf you can make you can take it off and make it a divider inside and divide your cargo and you can even bring it out further and make it a table which they're not showing an image of that but you can also make it a table there and uh, it comes out a little bit further out over the bumper and uh, creates that little table for you if you're camping. So that's pretty cool, uh, 150 for that. And that cargo management system is actually a freestanding option. So if you want to get that, you have to order it from the factory because the they have to put some, they have to actually bolt on some things on the side of the cargo area. And so that's why you need that done at the factory. So uh, the, the things you want, want done at the factory, engine block heater, cargo management system, that shelf divider, uh, also front license plate bracket. So if you're wanting a front license plate, um, then if you live in a state that doesn't require one, then you'd want to order that from the factory as well. And the other thing, this next one here is this 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot credit. So right now, there's been an issue. This has been required in a lot of vehicles. They're going to basically, you will not have access to the Wi-Fi hotspots for the vehicle. So that embedded modem gives you that flexibility of having the Wi-Fi hotspots where people can connect their phones to the vehicle and the vehicle takes all the charge. So the basically internet comes into the vehicle using that, the embedded modem and then the and everybody else can feed off of the Wi-Fi from the vehicle. So that is taking off a lot of vehicles right now. And so that's been listed on 2023 as a option to add to the vehicle and give you that credit back and so probably at launch at least you will not have the wi-fi hotspots um, and then the center console vault so this goes inside your console there and it's lockable you can kind of see that there so you can click and uh, click that open you can see combination lock there and you can open uh, open that up you can put that in there so this is something else that is a dealer installed option uh, Yep, dealer installed option. So that will be shipped to the dealership ahead of time and the dealer would install that. So there's all your uh, different uh, different features there. So all those are everything we talked about in a way of exterior and interior and standalone options uh, can be ordered with your vehicle from the factory. As I mentioned on individually with those, some of those are shipped to the dealership ahead of time. The dealer would install them. Some of them are accessories that will be just thrown into your vehicle and some of those are installed at the factory. But the rest of these, a lot of people are, uh, don't understand this, but if you keep going down to these ac accessories section, these here, these are not something you can, put, uh, can order from the factory. These all have to be ordered through Ford accessories. Ford's just putting on here as an idea, some things you might think about ordering while you're waiting for your vehicle to come in. But they are not something that we can, add, we can order for you from the factory. So keep that in mind when you're building a vehicle out, getting with your dealership. If your dealer says, I can't order that, and they're not lying to you there that truly they can't because these are things you have to get through Ford Accessories website. And they're not something you order with your vehicle when you order it. So just keep that in mind as well there. So there is all of our standard equipment. All the different options are available. Factory installed options versus your dealer installed options and everything right there in one place. Hopefully this video helps you out. So feel free to move around in the video. Uh, get the information you need to from this video. That's the purpose of it. So uh, but hopefully this is uh, this helpful for you, especially if you're looking to specially custom order a vehicle from a dealer. This is uh, hopefully will be very helpful for you in that you'll be able to do that uh, using the, the information that you gather from this video. So, of course, uh, check out with your local dealer. If you are struggling to find a local dealer, uh, Law MacArthur can help you out. We do actually uh, order vehicles for people all over the country and have them shipped right to the door. Uh, the way we're pricing all of our ordered uh, Bronco Sports is that we're doing MSRP pricing on all those. We are, we have a $500 dealer fee, and we add no other add-on fees whatsoever. If you want to add some accessories, like we mentioned later, that's really up to you. Uh, we do not. 
put, you know, have, uh, you know, make you put any of those features on. I know some dealers will make you put a protection package on or a tent on or something like that and, and on every vehicle. We don't do that. Uh, so just so you know that. And uh, we do know how to do uh, honor the price protection as well as we'll honor the price when you ordered as well as when it comes in. We will not mark it up once it comes in. Uh, that's just we just don't feel that's that's right. So we know some dealers do. So if you're struggling to find a dealer that does that, uh, just do check us out. We do free shipping. So if you let them know you saw this video on YouTube, we will ship the vehicle to you. We do cover the first thousand dollars if you finance the vehicle with us. I'm very transparent about that. So if you uh, plan to finance it with us at standard rates, then what we'll do is we'll cover the first thousand dollars of the shipping cost or travel expenses. So if you want to fly in and drive your vehicle home, some people like to do that. Uh, we'll pay for that flight uh, and travel expenses up to $1,000 if you finance a vehicle with us. So uh, hopefully you can take advantage of that. And if you do, if you're interested in doing that, you can uh, give us a call. Uh, of course, 785-823-2237. Uh, you can go to our website. There is a custom order page on our website. And you can go there also and fill that out. And we can uh, so that starts that communication so that we can go ahead and get a custom order uh, made for you. And do all the, all the proper... Uh, paperwork to get that approved through Ford with the COV, COVP approval. Uh, that's that custom order verification process program there. And so that way we can get that, make sure that, that Ford is looking at that order by getting it verified for you. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button. If you like this video, you probably like some of our other content. So hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you can get notified next week another video uploaded to the YouTube channel. And don't forget you can find Law MacArthur on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to follow me, you can see uh, my Linktree account right there that shows all the different links to all the different places you can find me on social media as well as different YouTube videos that I do and uh, also how to email me directly if you'd like to get a hold of me. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, we'll see you later.